Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. We're going to both model it and then animate it with textures later. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. If you want to uh, vote on future tutorials, get tutorial files, assets, or your name in the end of videos, make sure to check out the Patreon in the link in the description. Okay, so let's start off by pressing numpad 3 for the side view, and then press S, then Y to scale the cube on the Y axis. Okay, and then press tab for edit mode, and then press Control R for a loop cut. And then let's select the uh, lower front of the object, and then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then press tab to go back to object mode, and then press S, then X to scale it on the X axis. And then I'm also going to uh, go into face select and then press S to scale down the back of the object. And then let's go into the modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons and make it smoother. And then let's go back to edit mode and then press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. And let's drag it to the uh, bottom. And then press Ctrl R once again to add another loop cut. And I'm going to set it around the middle. And then I'm also going to add a loop cut in the front. So uh, something like this. And then press S, then the set to uh, scale it on the set axis. And then let's save before we continue. Give the file a name and then press enter to save. And then next we're going to add the gun barrels, so press number 7 and then press shift A and add a cylinder. Then press R, X, then 90 and then S to scale the cylinder down. And then press S then Y to scale it on the Y axis. And then press G then Y and then G then X to grab it on the X axis. And then the next step of the tutorial is to add some increase to uh, each end of the uh, cylinder so that we can add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. So uh, let's go into edit mode and hold in shift to select both faces. And then press N and set the mean increase value to 1. And then press Ctrl R and add a loop cut. This one does not need any uh, mean increase. And then select the face on the back and then press S to scale. Okay. Let's go back to uh, object mode and solid view. We need to scale down the uh, back face a little bit. And then let's increase the number of uh, subdivisions to make the uh, surface of the barrel smoother. And let's go into edit mode. Press E, left mouse button, S, left mouse button, then E and extrude inwards. And uh, let's go back to solid view, object mode, then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then hold in Alt to select the whole circle, and then press G, then Y to grab those faces on the Y axis. Okay. So uh, next we need to add another modifier, which is the mirror modifier, so that we can mirror the object like this. And then let's edit the back of the turret as well, so press S to uh, scale. Press S and then set to scale it on the set axis. And then go to file, save as, and then let's uh, create another save in case something crashes. And then press shift A and add a cylinder, which we need to rotate the turret. So press G then set. And then press G then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then S then set to scale it on the Z axis. And then press G then set to uh, grab it on the Z axis. And then next we need to go into edit mode and select the uh, two faces on each side. And then set the increase value to 1. 
and then let's add the uh, subdivision surface modifier okay and then next we need to uh, add a uv sphere and then press s then uh, shift set to scale it on the uh, x and y axis then press s then set to scale it on the z axis and this will be the platform for the turret and then we also need to uh, add a subdivision surface modifier for this object so uh, add a subdivision surface modifier increase the number of subdivisions and as you can see it's now much smoother okay and then press uh, shift a and add a plane and press s to scale and this will be the floor of the scene and then press s then shift z if you want to change the scale on the x and y axis then hold in shift and select both the barrels and the turrets and then press G then Y to grab it on the Y axis and then let's deselect everything by pressing Alt A and then next we're going to go into edit mode and then select the back of the turret and then press S then set to scale it on the Z axis and then press G then set to uh, grab those faces on the Z axis so something like this and then let's select the top of the turret as well and then press G then set to grab them on the z axis and then let's select the barrels and apply the mirror modifier you can also scale them up slightly and then let's go into edit mode press A to select everything and then press P to separate by loose parts so that we have two barrel objects and then let's save before we continue and then we select the turret and then press ctrl p to set those uh, objects parent to the turret okay so press number seven for top view and now let's add two shape keys and then go into edit mode hold in uh, alt to select the whole circle and press g then y to grab them on the y-axis and as you can see when we go back to object mode we can now animate the uh, shape change of the barrel and we're going to set the origin of this one to geometry and then press shift s and move the cursor to selected then we can press x to delete and then we can press shift d and then press shift s and move the uh, selected object to the cursor so that we now have two uh, barrels that we can animate and let's save before we continue and now it is time to set up the lighting and the materials so select the light turn it into a sun and set the strength to five and then let's make the background white with a strength of two and then let's open a new window and go into the shader editor and then select turret press x to delete and then let's add a uh, diffuse uh, node and then connect it to the material output and then press shift a once again to add a node and then we're going to add a mask grave texture and then connect the factor to the color let's go into the uh, material view and then we're going to uh, change some of the parameters to uh, get a um, sort of uh, camouflage uh, texture so let's set the detail to around uh, 7.5 the dimension to around 73 and uh, then the last value to around 0.9 now let's add a color ramp as well and uh, let's make the uh, other color green a little bit of uh, a darker green to get the uh, typical camouflage color and we can also change to cycles if you want to this is going to increase the render time but it's also going to look a little bit better okay and then let's select the uh, barrels add a new material and uh, we're going to uh, give this a uh, basic uh, diffuse material with the uh, same green color 
and then copy the same material to the other barrel and the rest of the uh, weapon. Let's add it to the cylinder and then the platform. Okay, and I think this looks uh, okay. You can change the color if you're not happy with the color. You can make it darker or lighter. It's uh, up to you. Okay, so now we have the uh, materials. So uh, the next step will be to animate the uh, barrels. So let's save before we continue. Click on the plus sign and then save. And then press Control Alt Numbat Zero to get the camera to the current view. Lock the camera to view. Let's set the camera around here. You can obviously set the camera wherever you want. We're not going to animate the camera in this tutorial. Okay, and then let's go to uh, frame uh, 50. And then let's animate the rotation. So press I to keyframe the rotation. Let's go a bit forward and then press R then set to rotate the uh, turret. And then press I to keyframe. And then we can animate the barrels as well. So let's go into the uh, shape key settings and then press I to keyframe the value. And then I'm going to go five frames forward and then set the value to one. And then press I to keyframe. And then I'm going to go uh, 10 frames forward. So uh, next we're going to go to uh, frame 145. So it's going to go out a bit slower than it uh, went uh, backwards. And press I to keyframe. And I think this looks okay. You can uh, change the uh, frames for the hotkeys if you want to, if you want it to be uh, faster or slower. So that's up to you. And I'm going to set this one around three frames later. And then press I to keyframe. Then let's go five frames forward. Set the value to one. And then press I to keyframe. And then let's go uh, 10 frames forward. So 148. And then let's set the value back to zero and then press I to keyframe. Okay, so now we have the animation and I think it looks nice. So uh, let's uh, go into rendered view and unlock the camera to view. And then let's save before we continue. Save as. And if you want to change the camera perspective, you can if you want to. You can also rotate the sun if you want to. But I think this looks nice for now. And then let's go into render settings. I'm going to use the GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU. I'll set the number of samples to 300. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size. If not, just leave it at 64. And I'm going to use a 4K resolution. If you only want a 1080p resolution, you can just leave the uh, resolution at 100%. Then I set the end frame to 200, the frame rate to 30 FPS, and then the compression to 90%. And then you need to find a folder for the final animation. Just create a folder, and then select the folder, and then give the animation a name. I'm just going to call it Toots. I'm going to save one more time before we start the final render, then you go to render and then render animation. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you to my Patreons, Mr. Monkey Shoes and Terry Davis.